the final race of day two then will be the Garen Champion Chase. It's a two and a half mile grade two. And again, we might get some pointers for the Mackerson next week in this one. Some of these might be a bit high in the handicap for that. Cornetto Pertigo, Darren Thompson, Dimwick, Greg Beckwith, Furious 50s, Martin Liam, Seagrave, Darren Thompson, Swain Forkbeard, Leon Van Rensburg, The Overlord, Joshua Sutherland, The Ringer, David Robertson, Alexander Minx, Stu Gray, Artistic Rose, David Hooley, Crystal Gaze, Obi-Wan, Octopussy, Stu Gray, Skyron Drove, David Robertson, and the long pause for Joshua Sutherland. So, this one's not a handicap there, remember, and away they go, and it's going to be the first one to show, looks like Furious 50s is interested in the lead, as they make their way towards the first of the 14 that they've got to negotiate in this one. Finally, get to the first, and they're all over it okay. With Furious 50s settling down in front, it's a very short run of the second, and they all got over the second okay as well. With Furious 50s enjoying himself with the lead, and they'll get over the third. They're almost like the railway fences at Sandown, aren't they? But it's Swain Forkbeard now on the outside who's come through to challenge for the lead between Swain Forkbeard and Furious 50s is the ringer, and the ringer is interested in the lead as well. Seagrove, who's also been running well in recent weeks, he's took behind that one in fourth. And you can see the Joshua Sutherland pair running together, the long pause and the overlord. Stu Gray's pair running together as well. He's got the grey octopussy and also Alexander Minx. They get to the fourth. And they're all safely over there and all jumping well. With Swain Forkbeard and the ringer there disputing the lead. If you're fifth is on the inside, is Still there as well, and the Overlord. And Seagrove as they take the next. There's a fall on there, there's one gone Cornetto Pertigo. So Cornetto Pertigo has gone for Darren Thompson, and that's one of the fancied ones, I think. Darren's still got another one in, in Seagrave, but he'll be disappointed to see that one depart, I would think, as they race up past the winning post with a circuit to go. And the Ringer. Is the clear leader there by length to Swain Forkbeard who's moving to second. Dimwit's going nicely around the outside into third. Then the Overlord and Artistic Rose and Seagrave. And Furious 50s has just shuffled back down into the pack a little bit. After that one is the long pause, then the Grey Octopussy and Skyron Drive and Alexander Minx. And finally Crystal Gaze is the back marker. But the Ringer is bowling along in the lead. On Swain Forkbeard second, then a line of five of them dispute third. That race just being won by the Overlord at the moment. Ron Seagrave and Artistic Rose Dimwit on the outside, Furious 50s on the inside. Octopussy is getting considerably closer. That's two is the long pause. The Skyron Drove's got some ground to make up, the stable mate of the leader. But it's the ringer, and is that leader, and it's three clear of Swain Forkbeard in second. The Overlord in third, Furious 50s is in fourth. Then Dimwit and Artistic Rose, and then Seagrave. With the long pause as they get over the seventh, the midway point of the jumping, and Swain Forkbeard made a pretty bad mistake there. And the jockey will need to recover quickly as they come into this ditch. They got over it okay that time. And the ringer is clear from the Overlord. And Swain Forkbeard. Uh, Back on an even keel again now, appears to be going well in third. Then Dimwit, the long pause, Artistic Rose and Furious Fifties as they get over the ninth and the leader was ponderous at that one. And the Overlord has now caught round the outside. They get over the middle one of the railway type fences and they can down to the third one of them as well. They're all jumping them really nicely and it's the ringer who's still too clear of Swain Forkbeard is recovered from that mistake. The Overlord is still travelling quietly in third. Then comes Dimwit, the long pause is making a good move around the outside. Artistic Rose is next. Furious Fifties is sticking on. Skyron Drive is trying to run on. Seagrave a bit disappointed. He's got some work to do. Octopussy, Crystal Gaze and Alexander Mix seem to have dropped out of it. But it's the ringer with just three to take. 
in the lead from Swain Fork Beard in second. Over to third, last they go, and the ringer jumped in best. And it's a length and a half clear of Swain Fork Beard in second. Crystal Gaze Artistic Road have gone at the back, but it's the ringer in the lead from Swain Fork Beard. These two are well clear of the Joshua Sutherland pair, third and fourth. They're coming down towards the second last now, then, and Swain Fork Beard has hit the front over the final bit. Swain Fork Beard slow, the ringer not much quicker. Then comes the overlord, the long pause, Furious 50s is still there in fifth over the final fence, and it's Swain Fork Beard who's suddenly bursting clear. And yet another one for Leon Van Rensburg as they race up towards the line. Swain Fort being sacks the Garen champion chase from the Overlord, then the ringer and the long pause with Furious 50s and Skyron Drive and Dimwit. And all the way back to the really disappointing Seagrave, and then further still to Alexander Minx. And there's no stopping Leon today. Swain Fort being noshes another winner for the. Van Rensburg's table, so Swain Fortby the winner. The Overlord was second for Joshua Sutherland, the Ringer for David Robertson was third, the Long Pause for Joshua Sutherland was fourth, and Furious Fifties was fifth.